Hey everyone, today I'm going to be recording my voice on this phone using nothing but the propagation of light. So in a previous video I showed how when you shine a laser on a microphone, for some reason when you pulse the laser you can hear a pulsing on the microphone as well. So turn on my fan. Notice you can't hear it but it's spinning right now. When I put it in front of the laser light now, They're not exactly sure why this happens. It could be due to the heating up of the internal components of the microphone, or it could just heat the air inside and push the diaphragm of the microphone. And then when it gets unheated, then it uh, relaxes. And so when you pulse the laser, it could make the diaphragm of the microphone vibrate back and forth as if it were sound. So basically by pulsing a laser on a microphone, you can get a sound to show up on the microphone. Now before I showed this using a fan, basically I spun a fan in front of the laser and showed how you could hear the buzzing on the microphone camera. But I wanted to get a little bit more sophisticated and use a little bit more complex setup to get different frequencies and see if I could actually record my voice using nothing but light on the microphone. Alright, so what I have here is I'm just going to set my laser here. It's going to bounce off this mirror that I have just in my vacuum chamber. And the reason I have it in here is just because I don't want any sound to come from this whatsoever. I only want it to vibrate the mirror. So this is a vibration speaker and I showed this in a previous video, but basically this just moves up and down according to the frequencies that you input into it. So if you play music or talk, it'll vibrate according to those frequencies, but I've attached a mirror to the end of it there. So I just have a mirror attached to the top here. And this is going to be vibrating up and down, so it's going to pulse my laser according to whatever input that I put into it. And you can see on the wall here, I play a certain frequency. So I'm just shining my laser on this vibration speaker so you can see what I mean. So I turn it off, it's a single dot then turn it on and it spreads it out and if I move it you can see that it's actually vibrating back and forth. And then that's going to be shining onto the phone here. And I have the camera covered because I don't want to break the camera on my wife's phone here but that's the microphone input there. So that's where I'm going to be shining the laser. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to see, but maybe if you look through these glasses. So you can see the light pulsating on the phone microphone there. It's vibrating back and forth. So according to whatever frequency of the vibration, it should show up on the microphone there. Now the best way I can describe the sound that I recorded is from the earliest sound ever recorded from a phonograph. It's really creepy to hear. So I went through and played some of my YouTube videos and just some of my videos on my phone and saw what showed up on the recorded microphone here. Here's what I got. Okay, let's just try it with me talking normal. How does this sound? Does this sound okay? I'm going to talk low. I'm going to talk high. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Okay, this is a video. Can you hear what I'm saying right now? 
the light is being transmitted the sound is being transmitted through light <laughs> So there's a lot of clipping happening and it's not picking up all of the frequencies very well, but you can pick up that there are actually voices here. Now what's amazing about this is that any sound that you're hearing is actually just picked up from a laser vibrating on a microphone. Now what's weird about this is it kind of depended on the specific frequencies because sometimes the vibration wouldn't happen exactly correct and it would kind of move around in a circle instead of just straight up and down. And so that would make a lot of audio clipping happen and I wouldn't be able to pick up the full sound range. So sometimes that happened depending on what frequency I was speaking in the video or what frequency of sound I was playing, it wouldn't pick up some of those frequencies. So that's why you kind of just get this like mumble, you can't really pick up what's being said. It kind of sounds like a TV in the next room. You can't pick out what's being said, but you can kind of hear the tones of it. Now what's interesting is I played a video of me in my room playing with my kids and I could actually hear my kids' voices in the background, but I couldn't really hear me speaking for some reason. Now if you fiddle around with this, you probably could get some better sound. I played with it for a few hours and this is the best I could get. But what's really creepy about this is, as I showed in a previous video, if you got this to work correctly, that means that you could actually shine a laser with this pulsating frequency at any smart devices like an Alexa or Google or something, and you could actually speak to it shining nothing but laser light. And it doesn't take any sophisticated equipment, it just takes a handheld laser and a vibration speaker that I got for $30 on Amazon. And you can actually get recorded sound on a microphone on someone else's device in their closed house through their window, which is really weird and creepy. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.